For over a decade, China served as General Motors' biggest market. However, in recent years, we've seen a huge decline in General Motors fortunes in the country. By 2023, annual earnings fell from a pretty impressive $2 billion to a mere $440 million last year, coinciding with a huge drop in sales. EV production hasn't fared much better. General Motors is saying they're going to pivot to luxury vehicles as an antidote to their China profit declining. But here's the thing. Luxury vehicles now in China are almost all electric cars. Well, the vast majority of them are anyway. And GM doesn't really have any particularly desirable electric luxury cars. In the US, things aren't looking all that much better. Only 2.8% of GM's production in the first quarter of this year were electric. And EV sales actually fell in the first quarter of the year by a staggering 21%. Mary Barra has made a lot of promises over the last few years about what, how many electric cars General Motors would sell. Um, A lot of people saying, Mary, that's not going to happen this year. Mary's saying, yes, it will. She says General Motors will execute on its EV ambitions in 2024. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. And I want to say, Mary, put your money where your mouth is. I mean, If you really believe General Motors are going to actually execute on their EV um, guarantees for this year, then you know what? Just say, I won't take a salary this year if we don't hit it. Anyone think that's going to happen? No, I didn't think so. Mary said, in 2024, this is a year of execution. I think it's a big year. It certainly feels like it on a rainy day in late January, just miles outside of Detroit. When Mary Barra spent the day with a reporter in Warren, Michigan, at a production facility that's hand-making the $300,000 plus Cadillac Celestique EVs. These can be customized. They're basically the Rolls-Royce of EVs, says General Motors. Now, sure, I mean, they might actually make a few of these this year. People might buy them. That's great. But I can't see them making any more than, what, 50, seeing as they are heavily production constrained. However, This year is the year for Ultium EV production. Now, General Motors have promised hundreds of thousands of sales, but so far over the first quarter, they've only delivered a fraction of those promises. They're meant to be manufacturing the Silverado EV, the GMC Sierra EV, the Equinox EV, the Escalade EV, the IQ, the Celestique, and the Chevy Blazer. But production is still pretty minuscule, and this is going to be really hard to recover from. Now, General Motors, it's true, do have a lot of models now. I mean, add to what I just said, you've got the Cadillac Lyric and the Hummer as well. Barrett had wanted to be all electric by 2035. That's what she promised investors, but she's changed her mind now. She's saying, well, we're going to lean into hybrids more to bridge the gap. What's the gap going to be? Well, General Motors said that they would surpass Tesla in 2025. They then said, oh, no, no, no. Not until 2026, but that's looking less and less likely. General Motors is still targeting $280 billion in total sales in 2030, which is more than double that it did in 2021. In part due to its expectations around EVs, but also in part due to selling software. The company said that they will increase revenue by $100 billion with selling software to customers. We still believe in an electric future, said Mary. Until recently, this belief and investment in electric cars had weighed on GM's stock price. Now, Wedbush analyst Dan Ives said this, and personally, guys, um, I don't believe he's being genuine. What do you think? I believe Mary has done a commendable job of laying the yellow brick road to growth, but execution has been choppy. This has been like pushing a boulder uphill, but the tide is starting to turn for General Motors in our view. Now, if you look at GM's um, valuation metrics, then you can see that investors don't really, uh, they don't really believe that General Motors is taking electrification all that seriously. GM's forward price to earnings multiple is 4.3, which is a massive discount to the S&P 500 index's 22 times. The average, the average price to earnings is 22. GM's is 4.3. In other words, yeah, the market doesn't really believe General Motors and neither does Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway have held on to General Motors stock that's Warren Buffett, for more than 10 years. They recently dumped every single cent. 
And what that means is General Motors stock trades at a 26% discount based on its book value. To be fair, um, yeah, GM stock has risen recently, not by a whole lot though. And General Motors has recently revealed and admitted to what we've all known for a long time, which is General Motors does not make a profit selling EVs. But here's what Cox Automotive said. They are going to be successful in EVs. Now, what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think General Motors can deliver on Mary's promises and make a million EVs in 2025, considering its production this year? I mean, so far this year, GM's electric car sales have actually declined by 21%. In Q1 of 2024, General Motors delivered 16,425 vehicles, right? 16,425, 21% less than a year ago. And that means of GM sales this year, 2.8% are electric. Even if General Motors 10 times their production, 10x, right? Are they gonna do that? Oh, I don't think so, but even if they did 10x, that would still mean that only 28% of GM's production is electric. And GM's actual ramp has been so slow now, it's just not showing any evidence that it's gonna ramp up miraculously fast to actually meet Mary Barra's predictions for 2025. I mean, Mary Barra went on all the news shows, all the public talk shows, and a lot of these analysts said, Mary, are you really gonna surpass Tesla in 2025? And Mary said, yes, I promise we will. And the analysts were like, yeah, come on, this isn't realistic. Be realistic, Mary, come on. And they said, Mary, tell us the truth. Mary said, 100%, we will do it. Honestly, the chance of this happening, I think you'd be better off going to the casino and laying your money down on, I don't know, on red. Anyway, the point is, GM's EV production is not coming anywhere near close to GM's promises. I don't really understand why the media doesn't hold General Motors or Toyota or any other car company to account for their promises because they never actually meet expectations. We certainly hold Tesla to account on a daily basis. The media holds Tesla to account. We talk about Tesla sales this quarter versus the quarter first quarter of last year, which they're still pretty good. I mean, at least Tesla delivered nearly 400,000 electric cars. Compared to General Motors 16,400, that's looking, um, well, pretty damn nice. Anyhow, what do you guys think? Is it true? Is Mary Barry telling the truth that GM are gonna hit their actual EV goals for this year, which are meant to be what? 400,000? Yeah, I can't see that happening. Thanks for watching.